All right, I'm back again. Uh, no handed bandit here. This time I want to say thank you to Challenge Athletes Foundation and also Hanger, my local Hanger prosthetics place, because I applied for their grant and their grant is for people that are challenged athletes, uh, people with disabilities, to be able to do the sport that they love. And I applied to get some new basketball arms, not knowing fully how much they would uh, be able to give you. And the limit was 3,000. They gave me the limit. However, they asked that my prosthetics uh, uh, place, hangar, um, do the rest. And the total was about $19,000. Uh, so thank you to Hangar Prosthetics and also thank you to Challenge Athletes Fund. I'm going to put on my arms and, and show you the new basketball arms. However, they're not fully set, so I'm going to teach a little bit about uh, prosthetics and how they get the fit right. I got my arms on, and uh, what they did is they made, they, they got new, stronger wrists. They're made out of titanium, because my old ones broke, and... Uh, they wouldn't lock so the hand would spin and, and instead of having one of that uh, that big old mitt hand we're gonna try with two hoop hands you can see that this socket is still not set yet so part of my job is to test and get the right size and so they give me temporary sockets and usually they're called check sockets check sockets are you they're made out of cast material sometimes and you can see underneath well you probably can't see but it's usually a clear plastic that they use so uh, we're gonna shoot some hoops right here and usually I'm playing in uh, indoor court uh, at a church uh, but when I grew up I played outdoors so um, right now because of the pandemic we can't go indoors my church definitely is not open for basketball but anyways I got this rubber basketball and uh, it's brand new uh, because I don't usually play in um, indoors oh just a little bit off for that first shot Bang. Now with the ring hand on the left, I have a better control of the basketball. But the downside is you gotta shoot past that ring because it's gripping the side of the basketball. So you, you're getting a little bit of this left touching that ball so you kind of got to come off with the left hand in order for the shot to go where you intend it to go or have control ah. Okay, at least make five in a row before everybody gets here and brings coronavirus with them. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh oh! Ah! Oh! Higher. 
push higher. So my dad used to say to me, is the process. You must respect the process. And the process is you're gonna miss a lot of shots before you make them. And then only if you keep pushing through the missed shots will you make shots. And then even after that only you continue will you become consistent respect the process for everything for video games for math for your grades in school you must respect the process before you make the buckets. And the process involves misses, losses. Oh, shoot, and that's part of the process. It is hot today. And the process involves heat. You have to feel the heat to get better. You must feel the heat. Uh, there it is. is you come up with a hypothesis for me that was this hand needs to be able to at least alley-oop or do a layup and with those scoop hands you can't really do that you can and I think I could pass better with this the only thing is it messes up my shooting hand but I think I found the right angle Ah. You must be ready for the heat when it comes to doing something you want to do because nobody is instantly a classic at anything. If, if you give up, your shot will never improve. And that, that's the process they're talking about when they say respect the process. Respect the misses, the shots, respect the mates, that's one. And then get back up, shoot again. You ready? It's a fight. Oh, I thought that was two. The Coronas are coming. Oh no, I gotta make five before the Coronas are coming. The kids today, sometimes they only get up for the games, but they should get up for practice. And this is practice, that's one in a row. Okay, here we go. One. 
respecting the process includes coming up with a hypothesis and then testing it and then your conclusions and it's a little scary to change things a little scary uh, scary to there it is two negative think of the positive it's not about you're gonna miss it's you're gonna make oh and sometimes you miss the ones you tell yourself you're gonna make That was my second day shooting in these and uh, there's a certain process when you go to make a change in something it's a painful process and it's kind of why they say respect the process because there's a lot of misses a lot of losing in the process and when you don't give up that's when the process doesn't beat you uh, and you respect it and you know it your day's coming if you put in the work uh, and that's the way I feel about these hands I like this one better than the scoop hand so far the two times I played with it uh, and I feel like the sockets good and I just I don't know if the hand is straight so that's part of the process sometimes you come out and you shoot and you shoot and you shoot what did you do you missed a lot well uh, you can't m make a lot unless you miss a lot. So thank you to Challenge Athletes Foundation for helping me out. And also thank you to Hanger Prosthetics for getting me the sockets. Um, I know I'm gonna have uh, 10 good years left playing basketball, 10, five maybe really, but 10, uh, I mean, I like shooting the ball just nevertheless. That's all I, I have for today. Just respect the process. There's a lot of pain, a lot of uh, losses, a lot of misses in change. And this is a change. And what we're doing to protect ourselves from COVID is a change. And what we're um, going through uh, in this country as far as race relations is a change. So we have to respect the things, uh, the process, it's tough and hard things out of hard things comes good things so peace out thank you for watching and sharing bye